What we're discovering in the 21st century is that the incredible accomplishments of our industrialized civilization have come at a terrible cost. We have polluted the biosphere, and our oceans are in serious and rapid decline. Without our oceans, there is no life. The crisis in the oceans is escalating, and the warning signs are ominous. Oceans are getting warmer and more acidic from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and growing more toxic from the billions of tons of man-made pollutants, sewage, plastics, and pharmaceuticals we release to the sea annually. As a foremost marine toxicologist, Dr. Susan Shaw dedicates her life to researching toxic pollution of our oceans and the threat this poses to the planet and ourselves. Her quest to learn the truth has resulted in many awards and makes her a key resource for other scientists, as well as organizations and governments worldwide. Our oceans are dying at a much faster rate than predicted. We face a global mass extinction of marine species within a single generation if human activities do not radically change. Already half of our coral reefs are gone and one third of marine mammals Seals, dolphins, whales are in danger of extinction. When their bodies wash up on our beaches, they're so full of toxic chemicals that they're labeled hazardous waste. We are literally poisoning the ocean food supply. I cannot imagine anything more important to understand and address. In 1990, Susan founded the Marine Environmental Research Institute to investigate the proliferation of toxic chemicals in the oceans. Her driving concern was the recurring die-offs of marine animals, particularly seals. Most recently, her research has centered in the Gulf of Mexico on the impacts of the decision to use tons of the chemical dispersant Corexit to combat the massive oil spill resulting from the Deepwater Horizon blowout. A month into the crisis, Susan actually dove into the Gulf to observe the impact of oil and chemical dispersants in the water. Her account of the long-term damage hidden below the surface and its implications for both human and marine life received international media coverage. Susan now serves on the Department of Interior's Strategic Sciences Working Group to assess consequences of the oil spill and recommend policy actions. Diving in the Gulf, I was horrified to see the cloud of death in the water. Pouring chemicals on this oil spill did not make it disappear. It made the effects much worse and longer lasting. Fifty years ago, Rachel Carson warned about chemical poisoning of the land. Today, our oceans are in peril, and we're running out of time. Saving our oceans is a survival issue for all of us. This is the new frontier for exploration, and the stakes could not be higher.